Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm Richard Everett on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey at Jay Wonderdoll on the Make Code Forum. And today we are back to working on our Pikmin game. But before that, um, let us talk about the mini game jam. So the mini game jam is technically over now, but we are going to be playing all of the games on Friday. So if you have a game you still want to submit, do it. Play it on Friday. You know, there's no there's no deadline. Just go ahead. Um, so uh, with that, let's switch over to coding. Um, do do do. Actually, is my version history stuff in beta? It's in beta in Minecraft. Is it in beta in Arcade? It is in beta in Minecraft. I don't. I don't think I ever turned it on in Arcade. So. Yeah. Hmm. I'm opening up Arcade. If you want to just make a project in Minecraft, you can probably show it real quick. Yeah, I'll show it off later. Um, all right, so where do we leave off last time with our Pikmin game? We are still working on enemy AIs. So we have these little firebug guys that are walking around. You can see right here. Um, I did one thing before stream, which is I made the cone a little bit clearer. So we were just drawing three lines before I just drew some more. Um, it, the, the, these are purely for de debug purposes. They're not actually for, like, they don't actually have an impact. Um, but so um, the way that this guy works is currently he just wanders around randomly turning. And when he hits a wall, he has some extra logic to turn around. Um, and he's got this cone of vision. Um, and when the player enters this cone of vision, there you go. There you go. He's caught my scent. Now he'll start uh, coming after me. Um, and uh, that's that's where we're at so far. Um, but uh, one thing, and I'm glad Joey's back because I need Joey to help me with this. Um, he doesn't always turn the right direction when he's following you. Um, because oh, I thought team. you. Oh, I should have taken that to heart when you mentioned the stand up. Oh, we had to do this, and then we uh, we just had to do it. I yeah, we do have to do this. <laughs> um, so. We, uh, we need to make it so this guy turns. I I'm trying to get it to repro the bug. Just uh, trust me, he, he does it wrong sometimes. Yeah. Um, so like you'll you'll get a little bit out of his way and he'll go the wrong way. I think you might have to like go around him and then do it. Yeah. So I, for I, I forget too, but the way that I always think of it, and so it must be correct because you always say that I know it correctly, is yeah. that you add like 180 to it uh, and mm -hmm. then it rotates. You do it, and then you subtract 180, so it does the rounding correctly. That's that's like my gut feeling on it. Is that wait what 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 <coughs> what? Right. So you have 360 degrees, right? And you want to go in the direction that is shortest, right? So you want to go left if it's shorter, or right if it's shorter. Mm -hmm. So my uh, my gut feeling on this one, which must have some merit to it, if you if you remember me remembering it correct. Is that you add like 180 to it to to relocate the space, and then you uh, compare off of that to get the right angle. I'm not sure. If add right. 180. Should it be add 360? Wouldn't th add 360 get the wrong? Maybe that maybe that is right. You're right. Hmm. Here's what we were doing. Um. So we were getting the absolute of a minus b and saying if it was greater than 180. If it was, then we were saying if A is less than B, um, take A minus B plus 360. Otherwise, take B minus A plus 360. And then else we do A minus B. That's how we got the difference. This is wrong. This does get the angle difference correctly, but it does not give us the right sign that we need for turning. <laughs> um, um, OK, absolute of A minus B is greater than 180. I tried to remember. Um, I tried to find one of the games where we implemented this. What what games did we implement this in? Because I know we did it for the racing game, but I couldn't find that one. I know it exists, but that's the last one that I remember. Um, did we? Would we have done this something like this for uh, the horror game? No, no, no because so. the, the bone game it was just using the map following. Mm -hmm. Uh. Do you remember what the name of our racing game was? 
I thought it was called Rad Ish Racers, but apparently that is not the case. I mean, that's the pun we did. For sure, that is the pun. Yeah, apparently it's not the project name. Uh, okay, one second. I found <coughs> the shortest direction of travel between two degrees on a circle. So if destination minus source plus 360, mod 360 less than 180. That's the one that, okay, yes, that is the one that I was uh, had in my head-ish and not fully formed. Okay. Uh, so let's head on over to our code where we are doing this turning. Right see. here, we're going to get rid of this. Let's just throw this all away. Go away. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, we have two angles. We have this one, which is convert our facing direction into degrees. And then we have where we want to be facing, which is this target heading mm -hmm. like this. So we're going to do an if, right? And then <coughs> what are we what are we checking? OK, so I put I pasted in the oh, yeah, I pasted in the chat this stack overflow one. This is the one that always comes to mind when uh, I get the direction that you're going. All right, cool. So destination and minus source plus 360, and it's modding around the 360. Yeah. Right. And is this, um, this assumes that we've already wrapped it into 360, zero to 360 range, right? Um, yeah. Okay. I so we need to, does that. I, I, if I remember correctly, your convert radiance to degrees does not do that. Okay. So um, to do that, we're going to convert angle under, which is our angle. We are going to take this thing, which is in degree in, in radians, and we are going to return. I think I'm doing this correctly. Um, convert radians to degrees. Right, that's good. That's annoying. Uh, mod 360 plus 360, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly. That is how you <coughs> normalize it. Because if the mod is negative, then adding 360 to it gives you whatever the correct angle is. Yeah. That um, sounds right. This, what would the block that we want look like for this? Destination, uh, original, move X towards it? So here's the thing. Um, I was actually talking to VB about this because VB was on last stream. Yeah. And um, I think this was his idea, but I think it's a good idea. Um, we are going to, and then I do, I need to wrap this inside in another mod. Um, I think a good idea would be to um, uh, make a turtle sprites extension, basically. Yeah. Which would just have blocks for all of this. It would have a, a concept of which way you're facing and then um, turning. Lucas asks, at the end of stream, can you all check out the beta release of Redline? Yes, we will. No worries. Um, yeah, that sounds good. And then we would just have a block that says turn to this, and we could have three options, which is like with a speed over a time or just doing one step. And then you can just call that your whatever you want, you know, just pass in an angle difference, and then it would turn yeah. that. That that third one <laughs> I was thinking of uh, just now for the block, but yes, having it in its own extension sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. And it's like um, it's very much like the scratch block for this. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, Scratch has a nice block for this. OK, anyway, convert angle. There you go, beautiful. Um, so we can now, uh, now that we have these guys all wrapped up, um, we are going to take our facing direction and call our function. So let's call convert angle right here. Duplicate that because we need to put that there and then put our target heading there. And there we go. We have two angles, which are now in degrees from radians. And we know for sure they are within the range of 0 to 360. And once again, the reason we had to do all this rigmarole is because 
the modulo in JavaScript, when you pass negative numbers, will give you the modulo, but it'll be the negative modulo, um, which is not correct. We need it to be within 0 th to 360. So if you just add 360 to that and then take the modulo again, you will have converted it into the positive thing. Yeah. So if you think about this, like take negative 90, if that was given. So negative 90 is actually 270. So if we add 360 to negative 90, 270, and then we take the mod, then it's just going to end up being 270. So that's what you want. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. OK, so got our convert angle. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing again. So if the destination minus source plus 360 mod 360 is less than 180. So thank you, by the way, random stack overflow person. We love you. So um, destination minus source. So destination is going to be our target. And our source is going to be our current angle. So go ahead and put this inside of a comparison. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to take the difference, then add 360 and mod 360 it. So let me actually copy this. There we go. That is less than 180. Then we are going to turn clockwise. Otherwise, we're going to turn anti-clockwise, a.k.a. counterclockwise, a.k.a. Wittershins. Wittershins is just uh, counterclockwise? OK. Wittershins is counterclockwise. Anti-Wittershins is clockwise. It's confusing. That's, that's what it was. I, yeah. if, I, if, I'm remembering, if I'm remembering that correctly. I think you're probably the only person on the planet, right? Like, this is. Yes. Wittershins yes, is counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, yeah. Yay, my it, experience of. I feel like <laughs> like Wittershins probably has like the hot potato license. Like whoever has last used it has ownership over the word and can change it to whatever they want it to be. Oh, I see, I see. Um, all right, all right, all right. So um, we're going to go ahead now and um, do things. So there's, there's one other thing we're going to have to do here. So we're angling towards. We need to know when to stop. Right. Um, so you're still going to have to figure that out. So we're going to set our um, facing. Let's see, set property facing to. If we're turning clockwise, we want to add. So we'll go ahead and add right here. If we're going counterclockwise or Wittershins, we are going to subtract. Uh, I probably should explain if you don't know, Wittershins is like an old English way of saying clockwise and counterclockwise. Yeah. Um, I mean, you you just Google it a minute ago on stream, right? They should they can get it. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, the reason I know it is because peek into Richard's childhood. Um, I spent all of my time reading books, and it's mentioned in a lot of like English fantasy novels. So, yeah. I feel like right. what what books with red wall would that have used it that feels like a red wall sort of word. no i always associate it with diana Wynne jones my favorite author okay um i think she uses it in a bunch of her books but read diana Wynne jones castle hell house moving castle um prestomancy series uh -huh. always my favorite high key Phoenix. um <laughs> anyway back to what we we're doing all right, so we are adding these um, values. Um, Hugh Fitting says, can't wait until Friday. Is that a reference to um, the mini game jam stream? Because yeah, it's gonna be fun. I know I know, we got some cool games from both you and Lucas. Okay, um, so so I don't know anything about, but when I searched Redwall and Wittershins, the Redwall illustrator, Gary Chalk, also illustrated a book called Fairwind to Wittershins by a separate author. So okay. at least Again. tangentially related. Yeah, you're right. No, it's it's there somewhere. Um, it's, it's, there's got so a, much. it's got a low bacon number. There's so many weird, you know, 
weird language in Redwall that I would absolutely lose it. Sure. All right. <clears throat> so we've got our facing now. What we need to do is um, we want to, uh, when we are facing the right way, we want to stop. Because right now, this has a problem, which is we are never going to hit the angle exactly, right? We're adding two degrees each time. That means at some point, we're going to go past it. And once we go past it, then we are going to go the other direction. And then we're just going to keep like flip-flopping like that. It's very unlikely yep. we'll ever hit the exact angle. So in order to fix that, what do we do? I actually don't know the best thing for I mean, this. I don't know the best, but I've got lots of bad ones in my head, including ahead, just call one. that call that go clockwise, go counterclockwise, and if the result is different, then you're you should just set the direction. Yeah, you're right. That works. I like that. Um, so <laughs> should we actually put Are this? You, let's just we'll put this in a function. Oh, that wasn't that was towards Lucas. OK, I had no idea what it was talking about with purple lines, but I like purple. Um, so we're, we're actually going to put this into a function called should turn clockwise. And we're going to put in, um, uh, let's see, current angle and target angle like that. Um, these are both going to be in radians. And we're going to go ahead and just grab uh, this comparison we're doing wherever that may be, right here. Duplicate, pull it out, grab a return, this right here. And inside here, we are going to um, uh, take this right there, make this uh, target angle, and then get rid of this, make this current angle. There we go. Now it's happy. And now we're going to go ahead and call this function. And pass in our target heading for the second one, our current facing direction for the first one. And put that right there. And now we're going to go into variables. We're going to say, uh, let's see, temp boolean. I don't know if we've ever made a temp boolean. All right. Beautiful. And now what we're going to do is say, if. Tim Boolean does not equal calling this again. Then that means we have reached our destination and we are just going to set. Uh, we're going to snap to the correct thing. So we're going to grab this right here, set the facing to our target heading. And we're going to set our state to moving forward. Because we're not moving forward again. All right, let's see if we did it right. Yeah. And you should have seen last stream. We wrote a huge piece of code, and then we're like, and VB and I were both like, there's no way we did this correctly, right? There's just no way. Um, and then we ran it, and it like, it all just ran perfectly. And we we're like, what the heck? This is this is unprecedented. Um, all right. It seems like this Looks is working right. correctly. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm wondering if we should. So um, we need to tweak this following behavior a little bit because um, it, he's too easy to get away from right now. Um, right? Maybe he should uh, like update it for a second until you stop moving and then fall. Run after you. I, I don't know. So there's a few things we could do here. We could make it so that um, he turns faster. That's one thing. We could also make it so that he moves less before he starts turning again, so that he's correcting more often. You yeah. know? So let's try that first. So we're moving forward for a second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change this to be half a second. Um, and so he's going to spit. He's going to turn more often, but it shouldn't actually impact its speed that much because he's going to be turning 
like less. smaller amounts. Yeah. Uh, um, I think it might make sense to uh, do these so it's more aggressively like moving faster and angling faster and updating more often only when following. If that makes sense. That is that is what's currently happening. Oh, so that's he what, does that's actually, the current behavior. Okay. Yeah, so he does actually turn faster when um, he's following you. Gotcha. Um, the movement speed is the same, but he turns faster, um, and yeah. that ends up having a big impact. Okay, this feels much better. Nice. Um, in yeah. fact, we might have to turn his movement speed down just so that we can escape. Um, but, uh, yeah, all right. So that's where I forget what's it, his power. His attack is just the the circles of fire, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, nice. Um. All right. So okay, we did that. Um, what we're gonna do now is um, yeah. There's I can't get away from this guy. Uh, from Ham. Hello, I'm always late. My name is no longer late. It is Ham at J Wonder? No. I, nice to meet you. Always late. <laughs> um all right yeah okay he, he's too fast now we need to turn down his movement speed or uh we need to so i like this following behavior so i think we just need to turn on his movement speed so that he can get away from him yeah um uh can you run him into a wall is that possible no because the speeds to the turns back speeds too fast. you could you could run him into a wall that's totally possible okay but, can we make um, him have like a like a, a stun effect if he runs into the wall could that be enough of a getaway without messing with the speed too much oh no yeah you can't turn him in you can't run him into a wall that way gotcha okay um what is always wait late saying in the chat i don't know it's read my message again it is ham it doesn't make any sense always is late. that is Can that you... a family name ham read yeah. my message again it is ham that's a pretty long family name but i i appreciate it Mm -hmm. is, that, is that hyphenated or um yeah. okay um anyway <laughs> uh back to what we we're doing um so we need to um inside here um uh make it so that uh, he moves a little bit slower so let's go to where we're creating our enemies do i have a function for that here we go. All right. Um, so we're setting all these properties. Um, I believe there should also be a property for movement speed. Speed. There we go. I don't know what the current speed is. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. This is dumb, but it'll work. Uh, we're going to set it to bug president's speed. Oh, no, do I, did I, not, I didn't make a getter. Never mind, we're not going to do that. Uh -huh. um, all right, so we're just going to estimate. I think bug president's speed might be 40. So let's set it to 40 and see what, see what he is doing. Should be doing the same, if that's correct. Yeah, that looks the same. So if he starts chasing me, there you go. I cannot get away again. Yeah. He might actually be going slightly faster than me now. Yeah, he's going faster than me now. OK, so we're going to set his speed to 35, not 4,035. That's too much. 35 and see if that's good enough. Run over to him. Chase me. Chase me. There you go. All right. Chase me now. Nice. OK, so I think our speed is. No, he's still he's still gaining on me. God, we're slow. Make it 30. <laughs> there you go. All right. Following me. 
go. Okay, now I am slightly faster than him. I think that's good enough. You know, we could maybe even lower it. Let's just make it 28, and we'll call that good enough. Um, uh, Ham993 says, at J Wonder Girl, guess what? Uh, what is it already late? All right, let's stop bullying our viewers. Yeah, that's true. That was the last one. Yeah, we're sorry. Oh, I mean, kind of. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Toss this. And we can toss this other stuff we have. And let's get to the next exciting bit. OK. So we need to um, <laughs> support doing um, it, it actually attacking and us attacking it. So which one do you want to do first, Joey? Do you want to do attacking it, or do you want it to do it attacking us? It attacking us should be simple enough, right? Because it's basically just check if you're close enough and then stop and fire. Yeah, I think so. Right. Um, and then, I mean, it gives us maybe a way to lose. I guess we have to add in a health bar or something like that. What are you thinking for? It's a good question. Um, so there is a health in Pikmin for your captain, right? Yeah. It doesn't super matter. I've never um, been affected by it. I'm sure yeah. I have at some point. I'm sure at some point I've been killed in Pikmin because I play a lot of Pikmin. But mostly you care about the lives of your little. Yeah. Maybe it uh, fires off like 10 of your guys and just sends them into random directions or something like that. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> is that too good? Question. Because this is also going to kill those guys. All right. Oh, it is so, also killing them? I was thinking of it as just spreading them and, like, not directly affecting the Pikmin because I didn't think we were going to get to that, uh, the, the bugs. Yeah. Uh, just because we do have the timer already, and so just having to pick them up with a 60-second or a minute timer is annoying. Okay, how about this? But killing them is one. So when Pikmin get set on fire in, in the Pikmin games, what happens is they catch on fire and they start running around. And then somehow... You calling them puts out the fire and has them come back to you. Yeah. So what if we do that? When they get hit by fire, they'll just start running around randomly. And if you get hit by fire, then, yeah, like 10 will come out and they'll start running around randomly. And then if you don't call them back in time, they, they will, right. yeah. yeah, die and turn into little souls that fly up. They, they just go off to the we want this. I uh, know we, we we're we're gonna have like a rich mythology, okay? We're gonna have like a whole afterworld, and did you know oh, we're gonna okay. weigh their hearts against a feather, determine yeah. you know, um, <clears throat> fit through the eye of the needle, then uh, all that stuff. Wait, I don't remember that one. Oh, right, right. Yeah, no, I got it. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. All right. Um. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do that. Um, we're going to make these guys uh, bugs catch on fire. So um, we're going to do that by um, first doing an overlap event. Um, so let's go to our, um, why did I go to functions? Let's go to sprites and grab an overlap event. And we're going to look at our kinds because I know we did Let's see. OK, we have fire. So when Sprite of Kind of Fire overlaps, and we're going to have to check for overlaps with bug, and then also with thrown bug, and then also with busy bug. <coughs> we want all the bugs. Mm -hmm. um, Joey's too busy having fun with the chat. Yeah, I'm, I'm still listening. I, I am having fun with the chat. But. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do something here. We're going to do um, set 
bug on fire. And it's going to take in a sprite, which is a bug. And. We're going to call for all these, so pass in our other sprite. Like that. All right, now inside of this set bug on fire, we are going to actually do something. Um, so I think first thing we need to do is because we have busy bug included in this, um, we need to unassign them from their task. So I'm going to go find, here we go. We have unassigned bug right here. And I'm going to make sure that if this is not assigned to a task, it's fine to call this. Yep, it is. So that's all good. All right. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and call unassigned bug on these guys. Uh, are we unassigning them, or are we going to give them like the job of chaos or something like that? I don't know if we're going to give them the job of chaos. I mean, I guess that's one way to implement it. But I think we're going to just change their kind to on fire bug. OK, I mean, that's fair. Do, yeah, do the logic that way. <laughs> all right. Um, so let's see. Uh, call unassigned bug right here. I think we also need to call on throw end. Where are you on throw end? There you go. Gonna call that too. All right. Um, and uh, we are also going to um, set their kind to be a new kind. So um, let's grab a set kind right here. Set the kind of our bug. And we already have fire bug, which is our enemies. Um, so this one is going to be on fire bug. What am I doing? What am I looking for? Um, all right, cool. So they're on fire bug. Um, we are also now going to animate them. Is it just going to be the the one green? Uh, they're green bugs, right? I'm, I I can't tell what the they are. Yeah, a little red on top of it, like a. It's going to be um, just. One pixel flashing between our. Red scale. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Hmm? It's only one pixel. I, do you think that's a problem? Do you think I need no, to? No, no. It's just that it was just it being big that made it uh, yeah aggressive. Um, um, actually, they're I two by two, so I need to um. Uh, let's that. Like that. There we go. All right. Bug on fire. Okay. So. I'll internally bond. So um, with that, we're now going to um, uh, give these guys some behavior. So we just want them to kind of wander around randomly. So um, to do that, we're going to go into our um, on-game update, where we're doing all sorts of stuff. Where are you? On-game update, where we're doing all of our bug behavior. Here it is. <clears throat> and in here, we are going to do for a for of. We're going to do all of the on fire bug. And what we're going to do is um, go into sprite utils and set their velocity at angle. And we're going to set their speed to be the bug move speed, which we have somewhere. Bug speed right there. And then the angle is just going to be a random angle. And this is just going to make them run around randomly. It might be too random. We might have to do something a little bit less aggressive, but we'll try this. Um, it probably is going to be too random. But oh, I know I know how to make it better. Yeah, all right. Easy. Um, so we're going to take the heading. 
for this guy. So we have the velocity angle block. Um, we're going to convert that into degrees. So grab radians to degrees. Or no, we'll just leave it as radians and we'll convert our thing we're adding to it to radians. Um, so we're going to take this and we are going to add a, we will do a um, if 50% chance. Um, we are going to set its angle to be the velocity angle plus, um, and uh, we need to pass in just like, I don't know, two degrees. Else, we will subtract two degrees. <coughs> and there we go. Now they're just going to run around randomly. OK, so how do we do this? Um, how do we test this, I mean? Um, so the easiest way to test this, because we haven't programmed the AI for our guys yet, is um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that on game update. Where we're doing if calling bugs and we get all the bugs and then we call them. Uh, and instead, I'm just going to set them on fire. Let's go become evil. All right. OK, we need to. All right, so what's happening here? Uh, we didn't stop the animations that these guys currently have because they have an idle animation. So inside of our set bug on fire, we're going to go into animation and we're going to do stop all animations. And this is maybe I being a little bit too eye murdery. We'll change it to 100. Yeah, I set them all right. on fire. Let's go become evil. I mean, yeah, it's fair enough. There you so go. All right, look. Can't use seven TV. Do I have any chaos? No. Okay. Um. So they they are definitely running. Um. <laughs> solar wind um, sort of thing. Yeah. All right. So we'll watch this. Watch this. So every time we hit them, they always start running to the right. So why is that happening? It's because we are having them turn randomly each frame. But they are um, their uh, angle to start with is always going to be zero because they're not moving. Um, so we need to give them a random movement angle to start so that we have them move in a more chaotic direction. Mm -hmm. um, Ham has quoted me. I'm just going to set them on fire. Let's go become evil. Yeah, that's okay. um, I don't know if that's an about. I should uh, stream elements does a does a quote thing. I should add that. All right, all right. Um, so when we set these guys on fire, we are going to give them a random uh, angle and direction. Um, so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, a random angle and direction. Um, so we're going to do bug right here. And instead of doing this, we are just going to do a um, degrees into radians. God, I cannot find anything today. I use this extension so much. Okay. Degrees to radians. Pick random. Zero to 359. It's inclusive. It's very important. Yeah, you don't now want to double up on fire. that zero percent, that zero and angle. There they go. Look at our little guys. The Four stream is sometimes about Richard eating atomic <laughs> fireball. That might be the only about that has to do with fire that no, I'm thinking about it. That that is a, a very good random. Yeah, that, that is a good random. Um, God, what a bad candy. Okay. So, um, all right, that worked, I guess. Um, they're running a little too fast, um, and so we could make their speed slower 
but we could also make it so they just turn more. How is that going to make them slower? Well, because they're turning more, they're not going to get as far away. Yeah. Um, so, OK, even more. Going to go ahead and add 10 degrees. Um, is this you without the bot? Who is me without the bot? Listening or comprehending? I mean, yeah, of course. OK, this is much better, I would say. Uh, let's yeah, do it even a little bit more. We'll we'll add 15 degrees. <laughs> That's this is what I wanted. This is starting to look pretty good, I would say. All right, like these guys. Aha, the chaos we have caused. Um, <laughs> OK. So this is working. We can set these guys on fire now. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we need to actually make it so that our enemy tries to set these on fire. But we're running out of time. Um, Joey, can you give me the red line beta leak? Um, ah, let's see, is it this guy? Oh, oh, Hassan Sufi is typing. Yeah, I see Hassan in the chat. He's still got 10 minutes, nine minutes. I, I shouldn't lie and say 10 minutes when we got nine. By the way, if you haven't seen Lucas's red line post on the forum, it's a bunch of images. And the last one says, play the game now. And you click on it. And it has set the forum on fire of people trying to figure out how he turned an image into a link. Um. <laughs> But, you can uh, uh, you can just uh, you just wrap it with markdown. It's just yeah, it's, it's just, just it's markdown. You just look it up. It's it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, but it is it is square neat. bracket, <laughs> image bracket, uh, or up capital square bracket image link. Oh boy, yeah. Let's let's keep okay. saying random punctuation on stream. Um, let's see. All right. So redline, we've played a little bit of this before. And um, so I, I also played this a little bit before um, uh, stream today. So um, if you press menu, you can actually switch between attacks. So um, or rather switch between like abilities. So um, you normally have this little attack thing, which, by the way, I love the little animation um, that you get for it. But um, if you press menu, um, you switch into this dash um, in which you like Kirby turn into a little um like vomit basically and you can just keep dashing until you get to the end and can you do damage when you're dashing I actually don't know the answer to that let's try it um so these are save points right here um head on over okay so we got this enemy right here so i'm just gonna go hit him no that did not seem like it worked all right so we're just gonna take this guy out the old-fashioned way Beautiful. by the way it looks like this is using um, uh, the custom effects extension, which was made by uh, Sylvan Circle, I think, on the forum. And um, I think we need to, I, I don't want to steal Sylvan Circle's things, um, but it, you. we could probably ask, and it would be a good idea to make a particle effect that basically replicates that, because they look really good. The explosion um, looking one? Yeah. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, thanks. Um, but. <laughs> A lot of chains in the world of red line. By the way, Lucas, do you have lore for this game? Hey, dude. I think it's okay. just, oh, oh, five, 10 coins max HP increase. Yep. Click okay, minion. Only, we only have four coins. Um, uh, try back tick, Richard. What? Back tick, I think it was. That menu. Oh, we have a, we have a button for menu? Yeah. Not today, I learned. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know. I already showed that off. Um, so in menu mode, you turn in, you can grab that, you can change your ability basically. Oh, okay. Like I was, I was just, Lucas said it in chat, so I wasn't even paying attention. I was too busy looking at this pop emote. Now I got gotcha. you. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, can I? Um, I don't know if, if if it's possible for me to interact with this cool thing that's right here. Sorry, the stream just crashed for me. Oh. Ah. Well, the VOD will be here forever. <clears throat> true, true, true. Let's see, do you have anything to say to me, fellow? Not if you punch him in the face. You can't right now. Okay. Okay. Well, love the smokestacks. Yeah, beautiful little pluses. Well, this hurt me. Nope. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah. Well, now I, I really wish I had one there. more. Yeah, I really wish I could have healed myself now. Can I get back up there? There's no way, right? You might, no you might need no. to like uh, position yourself into a <laughs> wall, back up, uh, turn twice to the left. Uh, go forward, uh, crouch down, uh, position yourself back into the wall, and then jump to get back up there. Uh, yeah, Joey's, I'm just doing Joey's... random motions, but that's pretty much the new uh, glitch they found in, not glitch, uh, exploit. Joey, Joey's uh, doing speed run strats. Nice. Yeah. Okay. They just found a new one this weekend or something, something like that for uh, SM64, Super Mario 64. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the yeah. a new carpetless. You don't have to ride the magic carpet. Uh, Hassan snuck in ten minutes early. Ooh, <laughs> messed up, man. I don't know. What... No one can deny. Ooh, you can fast travel. Cool. Um, all right, gonna reset because I just lost a bunch of health. All right, whoops. Attack! 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 How's it going, Hassan? Pretty well. We just playing games today. I like the aesthetic of uh, this one. Uh, we are well. We were working on our Pikmin game, but now we have switched Ooh. over to showing off um, Lucas's Redline game, which is a thing he has been working on for a while. Nice. What did you just link in the chat? Uh, it was uh, I was monitoring the forum, so someone else. Uh, was introducing themselves and I think mentioned Pikmin as like they're the the game that got them into games. Really, that's an yeah. I mean, is that is I, that a second user because there's somebody before I went on uh, vacation last week. Yeah, that was talking about that. Really interesting. I have yet to uh, play Pikmin. Um, Pikmin rules. Play Pikmin uh, after I beat <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, sit down and finish. I would say that, um, though, I love Pikmin so much. Um, it's a weird first game. Okay, this is the same user it, it, I was thinking of. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. There we go. Well, you got know, first it. game, okay. like the first game that, like, Hooked they them, I guess, connected with. Right? Like, yeah. I got five coins, so I can now. Yeah, Lucas is saying you have, to, you have to hide in the holes. And attack from behind. Ah, uh, for the witch. Um, I don't, I don't know who, what the context is, but that, that's what they said on the chat. They said there's also three bosses. I see. Whoop. Uh, I think they're saying for the hunter boss fight. That's the strat. It's to hide in the holes. Gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. The um ah, man, these spiky guys are annoying. Little Metroid spiky guys. Yeah. Man, I, I'm not a fan of the fact that the witch just spawns these guys that I hate. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna die. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh wow! That's not gonna happen. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at your game, Lucas. I'll practice. I'll get better. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Lucas, uh, for sharing your game. Um, we've been looking forward to it, I think, for a while. All of the screenshots have been really cool, and it continues to look really cool. I very much love your art style for all of the characters and the the. You know, I, I I've mentioned this on stream many times. I am a big fan of monochrome games. Um, and, uh, I also like, really like monochrome games that use like one extra color, like a little accent color. So, <clears throat> oh, Lucas says, you can get better. My games are the dark soul of make quote games. <laughs> dark souls would be a very fun game for us to make though. I gotta say. What? Dark souls? Dark souls. Dark oh, souls. I see. We already did darts. I'm not doing darts again. I don't like darts. You have one dart. Mm, not a fan. All right. Um, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Remember, on Friday, we are going to be playing the Hacking Mini Game Jam games. If you have not made a game yet, uh, go ahead and do it now. I, I'll tell you that my game took me about an hour to make. So you can do it and make a fun game. Um, and uh, yeah, check out the Redline beta that's on the forum. I'm sure it's going to be staying somewhere near the top because uh, it's... Uh, Maybe. Oh, yeah. Katie Phoenix says, I like the four bit color scheme, clear, red, black, purple. Yeah. So um, when I say when I say one bit or two bit things, uh, yeah, I mean, the uh, the the clear is always I feel like implied, you know, Yeah. because even if you say one bit game, that means like black and white. Yeah, there's usually also transparency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I am Richard Archer and make good form. Thanks for watching. I'm Hassan, uh, Hassan on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Joey at J Wander on the Make Code Forum. And we will see you on Friday. Bye. Bye.